and welcome to my channel, Genuine Herbs, where we talk about natural medicine. My name is Jennifer Nahon, and I'm an acupuncturist and herbalist. Today, I'm going to be talking about some of the natural, supplemental, and homeopathic things that I do for pain at my clinic and have seen a lot of great results from. One of the fastest ways to see quick results is through homeopathic injections and creams. I have seen injections work the quickest, and then the creams and sublingual supplements come in second in regards to how quickly they work. Now, I know that this requires finding a licensed professional, but I have used many homeopathic injections with a lot of success. Many people are looking for natural alternatives because they either have an allergic reaction to steroids or they are just looking for a natural alternative to pain relief that will have far less side effects than steroid injections. So, first and foremost, why injections and creams? Well, injections go straight into the bloodstream and surpass the digestive system as well as creams as they go through the surface of the skin and into the bloodstream. Also, some supplements can be taken sublingually and dissolve under the tongue to go straight into the system. Many times, it's people's digestion issues that is not allowing them to absorb nutrients properly, so in order to make sure it gets into the bloodstream quickly, you can do an injection, creams, or sublingual for fast results, and somebody who is in a lot of pain usually wants fast results. The best example that I have to describe this is glutathione. Glutathione is a powerful antioxidant that helps to detoxify the liver, and I have found that helping to detoxify the liver can benefit things like pain, diabetes, and obesity. It is made up of three amino acids called glutamic acid, glycine, and cysteine. These three amino acids, when in combination together, work to enhance the liver. However, an injection or IV therapy for this supplement works quicker because it does not have to go through the digestive process as the digestion will break apart the amino acids and for them to have the maximum benefit they need to be together. Therefore, when you inject it into the bloodstream, the amino acids will stay together and have a quicker healing effect. If you run low in glutathione, you can take a sublingual form as well as it dissolves under the tongue and goes into the bloodstream. The same thing can be said for those who cannot process B12 through their digestive system and need an injection or sublingual form for the B12 to go straight into their system. I have links below for the sublingual forms of glutathione and B12 if you're interested. Now, glutathione and B12 are examples of a supplemental type of injection but there are full herbal and homeopathic injections as well, which is what I'm going to get into now. The first herbal injection that I use is called Tramiel, and this is one of the main injections that I use for pain. I treat a lot of veterans and work to give them natural pain relief and have seen amazing results with this particular injection. For example, I had one veteran whose foot was amputated and he had a lot of pain in his amputation. He says that after having this injection in his amputation, that his pain went down by 80%. So, what does this contain? Tramiel has the following ingredients in it. Milfoil, which is used to help with hemorrhages. Monk's hood, that is used to benefit neuralgia, inflammatory rheumatism, and the tone of the blood vessels. Arnica, to stimulate the healing of wounds and fractures and help with neuralgia. Belladonna, to help with cerebral sensitivity with cramps and delirium. Daisy is used for dislocations, contusions, and soreness in the abdominal wall. Calendula benefits slow healing wounds. Chamomile is an anti-inflammatory and promotes healing in difficult healing wounds. Echinacea, increases defense mechanisms. Witch hazel helps with varicose veins and has pain relief effects. Calcium sulfide to help discharge any pus in the area. St. John's wort to help with neural and cerebral injuries. 
comfrey to accelerate callus formation in fractures and help amputations, and mercurius solubilis to reduce abscesses and edema. As you can see, there are a lot of herbs in this formula that work synergistically to heal pain. Another injection that I use is called Zeal. I use this injection for arthritis and it works unbelievably well. I have many veterans with arthritis and they say that this really helps them and some of them are even surprised at how well this works. For example, I had one veteran who had a complete tear of the muscle in her rotator cuff and along with the tear, she had a lot of arthritis in her shoulder. Now, since she had a complete tear, she did have to have surgery to put it together, but she could not even have the surgery because she had too much arthritis. By using this injection, we were able to bring her arthritis down enough for her to get the surgery and give her manageable pain relief until she could get the surgery. As a matter of fact, she told me that the surgeon said that when he did the surgery, she didn't have any arthritis at all anymore. Now, Zeal uses pig cartilage, so it's not plant-based, but again, I have seen great results from this. This preparation works by inhibiting the enzymes that cause arthritis. The NIH has done research on Tramiel and Zeal, and I will put that link below so you can take a look at it. Oftentimes, I will combine Tramiel and Zeal in my clinic for those who have pain and arthritis, and they work really well when combined together. If someone were to ask me, what would be my dream scenario for an all-natural pain emergency room? My answer would be the following. First, I would have the patient come in and take a full panel of deficiencies with all of the essential vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and other nutrients so that we can get these vital elements replaced in the individual's body as quickly as possible. As those results are being processed by the in-house lab, we can get an x-ray of what is happening. Secondly, once the results from the testing and x-ray are in, then it is determined if a chiropractor needs to do some adjusting or a physical therapist needs to do physical therapy with manual manipulation. Thirdly, they are off to the acupuncturist to help gain movement of the nerves and help solidify what the chiropractor and or physical therapist did. Fourth, make sure that the individual receives either injections or supplementation for the vital nutrients they are low in. For example, if they are low in B12, alpha lipoic acid, vitamin D, and glutathione, then it is important to get these nutrients back into their body. Of course, doing an injection or IV would be the quickest, but you can do patches, creams, and supplements as well. Lastly, I would go in with the herbal injections just to get all of the pain bases covered. To explain this theory of testing and herbs more, I often like to look at this as building a house. A house has to have a strong foundation to put the walls, the roof, and the rest of the house up. If the foundation is weak, the rest of the house is in turmoil. I look at testing essential nutrients as building a house, and once I get the foundation strong of vital nutrients, then other chemicals from herbs work better. For example, arnica, which is used in the Tramiel formula that I spoke of from above, contains the chemicals helenolin. These chemicals are what are responsible for the anti-inflammatory action in the body. However, we do not have testing for these chemicals yet, but when I get the foundation of the body fixed with the essential nutrients, these chemicals, such as the helenolin, work even better and help to get to the root cause of the problem. I do realize that I spoke of glutathione and B12 above, but I just wanted to use those as examples. I do recommend people getting tested for supplementation needs first to see if in fact they are low in those nutrients. I will be doing a future video on the nutritional testing that I have found that works and use in my clinic as that is a whole other video in itself.
I believe that this is a large problem in our society as people are guessing what is wrong with them rather than having a specific system and testing to get more accurate outcomes. I have seen great results with just the injections and creams, but when I combine it with tested deficiencies, I have seen even better results. So I will be putting that video up soon. If you are interested in getting the injections, you can try to seek out a licensed professional in your area who does them, and many times it is acupuncturist who will do them. Also, I have put a link for the creams below if you cannot find someone who does them or don't want to get injections as the creams work really well. I cannot express how important it is for us to start doing testing for what supplements and herbs are needed in people and I started this channel to explain this as I see people every day coming into my office and taking something that they read is good for them but actually they are making their problems worse and haven't been tested for what they need. We all have a different fingerprint and we all have a different blood print. Therefore, it is not about one product or thing that will help, but a program that can balance the specific needs of the individual. I also have a book that goes into depth and explains how natural medicine works and a short video as well, and I will put those links below. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you want to learn more about natural medicine, then hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you soon. Have a healthy day.